In this video, we are focusing on adding and subtracting like terms. So like terms contain exactly the same pronumerals in any order. So for this example here, we've got 4AB and 2BA. They are like terms because they have an A and a B okay, in each term. It doesn't matter what order they're in. This is an AB, this is a BA. They are like terms, and I always say that these like terms are related to each other because they have the same letters, the same pronumerals. So A and B are what's like about 4AB and 2BA. So let's have a look at these eight examples I've got here for us. So let's have a look at this. We've got 3X and 2X. They are like terms because they share the pronumeral X. We have 2AB and 5BA. This is very similar to our example here. Yes, they are like terms. It doesn't matter that one's got an AB and this has got a BA. They both have a relationship because they have an A and a B and therefore they are like terms. Number three here has 2A and 4AB. This is not a like term. We have an A and an AB. That is not the same. It's the B that throws things out here. So this is not a like term. 5XY and 6Y. Very similar to what we've got before us in question three. We have an XY and a Y. It's not a like term because we have the X that ruins it for the Ys. Over at number five here, we have 5CD and 3DC. CD and DC are related because they have a C and a D. It doesn't matter what order they come in. So they are like terms. 4A and 7B, well, we know that's not related because the A and the B are completely different. There's no relationship, therefore they cannot be like terms. 2ACB and 4BAC. This is a like term. We've got the three letters on each side, the three sets of pronumerals. Okay, ACB and BAC. All we have here is the letters in a completely different order, but they do have an A, B and C in each part of these like terms. So yes, it is a like term. And the last one here is 4X and 5Y. Well, no, completely different X and Y. There's no relationship. They cannot be like terms. So moving on to adding and subtracting. So if we think about it in a scenario that's tangible that we can see, it might be helpful. So if we have four cats plus six cats, we actually have 10 cats. So if we change this into uh, you know, a like term situation, it's the same as basically saying 4C representing four cats plus 6C representing the six cats equals 10C. So that way it's easy to sort of make it more tangible that you can see, you can understand it by replacing those pronumerals with, you know, an item like a cat. And the same thing goes down here with the subtraction. We're using apples. Okay, so 12 apples minus one apple equals 11 apples. Okay, it's the same as saying 12A minus. Now, we don't actually put the one in front of a pronumeral. That one is invisible. Okay, so we never ever leave or put a number one in front of a pronumeral. It sits alone as a letter without a number. So it's 12A minus A equals 11A. Let's take it some more examples of this adding and subtracting like terms. We've got six examples here. I'm going to take you through them. We'll start at number one, of course. This is a very simple one here. You've got 7p plus 6p. It's like saying five parrots plus two parrots, and you've got seven parrots, so the answer is 7p. Number two here, we've got 3a plus 4a minus a. You could also look at this thinking it was three apples plus four apples minus one apple. Remember, there's that invisible one in front that you can't see. So that's 1A. So put the equal sign down and we can work across because it's addition and subtraction. So 3A plus 4A, okay, is 7A minus A, which is 1A equals 6A. So six apples. This one here, we're adding the square numbers, the power, so don't be fooled or worried about that because the Y owns that power. So they are like terms. So we write the equal sign 
And all we have to worry about is the numbers. So 15 minus 7 equals 8, and we go y squared. Nothing happens or changes to those powers on the y. 8m plus 10m. This is another simple one. It's like saying 8 motor cars plus 10 motor cars equals 18 motor cars, but that's 18m. Okay, over here in number 5, we have 7p minus 7p. Zero is all you have to write. You don't worry about anything else. It's seven lots of peas, so seven potatoes, minus seven potatoes. There's no potatoes left. You don't go zero P. You simply put zero because there's nothing there to write. So you have seven potatoes. You take seven potatoes away. There's nothing left. So it's just zero. And this one here looks more complex, but don't worry about that too much because just like the Y squared, the X squared Y and the X squared Y are like terms and have a relationship so we're only dealing with the numbers so we are adding 15 plus 6 is 21 and we simply drop down the x squared y okay so we don't have to do anything with this these are like terms they're related we're just focusing on the numbers